Ain't nothing better than watching you smile Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh Out loud, my baby Ain't nothing better than watching you Be you Ain't nothing better than right now In your eyes lie the secrets I don't wanna miss Put You're probably wondering what you're looking at right now. Well, what you're looking at is all of my VHS actual movies, you know, that are store bought. Okay, I said before, I think in one of my other videos that I used to tape everything off cable. Those videos are still in the hamper. Well, not hamper, but in the shelves here, there, and over there somewhat. Towards the uh, bottom there, and I have some that I made. Move, I took out to make room for my Blu-ray movies that are in boxes in the other room. Okay, but what this is right here, excuse me, once again, what this is is my VHS store-bought ones, ones that I bought that are store-bought. You know, that, so that's them there. That's the pile right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know. Through the magic of editing, I'm going to cut the video off now, and then I'm going to put the VHS on the floor, and then just put them on my bed as I go along so you can see what I have, okay? It's a lot more than I thought I had, okay? So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to keep the camera at this angle. I have all the VHS tapes there on the floor, so I'm just going to show them to the camera and toss them on the bed. So that'd be the easiest way to do this. Now, the first thing I'll show you is that uh, let's go this way. Okay, this is Rambo 3, Sylvester Stallone, VHS. Like this one, this is the one where he has to rescue Colonel Trout. Right? He has to go to Afghanistan, I believe. Colonel Trout and Richard Crenna. There you go, Rambo. I love the Rambo movies. Okay, now, the next one, of course, is Rocky 4, where he beats Ivan Drago. I must break you. Okay, there you go. There you go. Next thing is uh, Angel Heart, a really good movie starring Mickey Rourke, Lisa Bonet, and Robert De Niro. Okay, really good movie about a private eye hired by a client to find a certain someone. And there's a twist in it, which is really good. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Angel Heart, Lisa Bonet. Robert De Niro and Mickey Rock. That's before Mickey Rock and all the surgery. Okay, the next thing is uh, Friday the 13th Part 2. Of course, this is the one where Jason starts killing people, of course, which is not a big secret, of course. There's the back. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next one is Star Trek, the motion picture. This is a longer version. This is the first one, the very first one with V'ger. <laughs> If you know what that means, you know what, if you've seen the movie, you know what I mean by that V'ger. <laughs> and that little twist that they add in there. But, uh, yeah, this is the one where it has the ball-headed, uh, really hot woman in there. <laughs> and this, but this is the first motion picture for the original crew. Okay, before, you know, the other ones started. Okay, now the next thing is the Adams Family. Right there, I love the, the old TV show, but in this movie version... With the late Raul Julia, it was pretty good actually. The young Christina Ricci, right there. Right there. Okay, and this is the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour. Has great, great songs on this Magical Mystery Tour, The Fool on the Hill, uh, Your Mother Should Know, I Am the Walrus. Really great. They, uh, this is like uh, a a music video for the Beatles for their album. Really great, great songs in this. And this is a suspense movie. That again, this stars Kenneth Branagh and, uh, what's her name? Emma Thompson. This is back when they were married. A real good movie about a, a girl, a private detective, uh, who's, uh, I think he gets hired to find, you know, this woman turns up that doesn't know who she is. She has amnesia and he's hired 
to find out who she is, and it has a nice little twist in it. And uh, Emma Thompson and uh, Kenneth Branagh have good chemistry in this. And that again, a real good thriller. Okay, and then there's Spike Lee's movie when he was making decent movies back then, Jungle Fever. This sorry, Wesley Snipes and uh, what's her name, Annabella Scoria and Anthony Quinn is in this. There you go. Remember, this is very controversial when it came out at the time. Okay, ah, this is Two Girls in Love by a young lesbian couple right there. And this girl right here, what's her name? I'm trying to remember what her name is. Uh, Laura, Laurel Hallman. She, of course, later, years later, starred in The L Word, that Showtime series on, um, you know, about lesbians living in uh, Los Angeles. Okay, that's her, I guess, when she was really young. <laughs> okay, and this is a movie... Uh, Starring uh, Sam Watterson, Craig T. Nelson about the killing fields in Cambodia. A really serious movie, and it's this movie will really break your heart watching this. Just man, humanity to other men is just spellbinding. And then we have a special uh, two disc, not two disc, two VHS tapes for Heat, Rob De Niro, okay, Al Pacino, uh, Val Kilmer. See, it comes with two VHS tapes in there. That's how long the movie was. Actually, Ashley Judd is in this also. It's a really good thriller. Yeah, there we go. Heat. Okay, the next movie is a movie starring Ali Sheedy and Rada Mitchell. High Art. This is a real good movie too about a. Um, I think she works for an ad. Um, Rada Mitchell works for an advertising agency, and she. Um, because she moves into this building and she meets her neighbor, Ali Sheedy, who happens to be a famous photographer, and she tries to get her to um, do a piece for her magazine, I think, that she works at, I think. And then, of course, she you know she gets involved with her, and it's a really good movie. Good performances, especially by Ali Sheedy. Okay, high art. Okay, now, I'm a big Van Halen fan. Well, this is, I guess, the second version of Van Halen with Sammy Hagar. Live Without a Net. Okay, really good. Concert film, there you go. Van Halen, Live Without a Net, really good. I think I wore this out, play, I played that all the time. I used to play it all the time, and of course, I feel the need for speed. Okay, there you go. Ken Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Sandra Bullock. I think, what did Dennis Hopper say in this movie to him? Uh, Don't try to grow a brain. <laughs> no, this is smart. He was good in this, speed. Okay, first one, which was good. Second one was sucked ass. And then this is the first the movie that I think that starred at Lisa Silverstone. She was like a young girl that had a crush on her neighbor. And this is Crush, a really good movie. And uh, Carrie Ellis, that's his name, I think. He plays the neighbor who she develops an unhealthy fixation on. Okay, and the next one is a movie when Sandra Bullock was upcoming, you know, uh, The Net. I think she uh, she was like a programmer, right? And then I think Jeremy Northam, yeah, he's the guy that's after her. I think she discovers, uh, I think if I remember right, she um, discovers something and they tap into her you know, phone records and basically wipe and they got to kill her because I think she knows too much information. So she's basically on the run. And believe it or not, Dennis Miller's in this movie is her friend. There he is right there with the beard there. You can see him there. Okay, and Jeremy Northam, I think, is the uh, hitman that's after her in this. It's a really good thriller. The Net. Okay, next one is a movie with Freddie Prince. Whatever happened to Freddie Prince? Uh, besides marrying Sarah Michelle Gellar, huh? He hasn't really made any movies or anything lately. Maybe he's just a house husband. Okay, uh, this is a She's All That. Basically, uh, Freddie Prince, Rachel Lee Cook, but he, well, he gives her like a makeover. Was there a bet or something? Yeah, that he made a bet that he can uh, turn a, a geek into, you know, a hottie. And of course, of course, you know, this being the, uh, was this 80s or 90s? Um, I don't remember when this came out. <laughs> Doesn't say, well. Anyway, you know, the typical thing. He absolutely actually does get to know her and actually falls for her. Yeah. Okay, and this next thing is uh, another teen movie which I really liked. 
uh, starring a lot of upcoming people. Uh, Can hardly wait. Uh, well, who's in this besides? Uh, uh, yeah, what's her name? Uh, Lauren Ambrose from there. She is right there. Ethan Ambry, which is this guy there. Uh, Seth Green, uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, of course, is right there. Peter Fanacelli, which is that that guy right there. And basically, it's about and yeah, Jenna Elfman's in this also. This is basically about one night, one party, and when everybody's graduating, I think all the scenes are graduating. They have one big blowout, and you know they have several different stories going on. It's a really funny movie. Can't hardly really wait. Killer soundtrack. Really good movie. Okay, now this next one is okay. A movie with uh, starring Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer, Frankie and Johnny. They work both work in a restaurant. And, of course, he basically starts hitting on her, and she's kind of resistant, doesn't want to really go out with him, but he's persistent. It's a really good love story, actually. Good, you know, drama, comedy, Frankie and Johnny. Okay, uh, next thing is, of course, another Christian Slater movie, uh, Broken Arrows with him and John Travolta, where John Travolta basically, he steals some nukes, and Christian Slater basically has to try to stop him. A really good movie. I think it's John, yeah, John Woo. Yeah, so it's really good action in this. Okay, let's see. Next thing is another movie from Christian Slater, Untamed Heart. Uh, this is one with starring Marissa Tomei and uh, Rosie Perez, uh, where Marissa Tomei and uh, Christian Slater, you know, it's their, kind of, their story where basically they work in a restaurant, all three of them, actually, all three of them, and she, and they actually... It says Untamed Heart because she starts to have a relationship with him. He's like a cook that doesn't say much, works in the back, and she's a waitress that's, you know, hard, you know, hard up in love. And they, you know, through various circumstances, they actually start going out. And it's a really sweet love story, Untamed Heart. Okay. Now the movie, uh, Kristen Slater, Pump Up the Volume. And Samantha Mathis is right there with him. He plays like a geek in a high school who starts like his underground radio personality. He gets all the kids to, to start acting out and stuff. It's really, you know, a really good movie, actually. And let me show you the back. There. Kristen Slater, pump up the bag. Like, you know, to, come, to not pay attention to all the rules that, you know, all the, I guess, adults try to, restrict the kids and stuff and he basically encourages the kids to you know to to rebel and of course the adults efforts to try to stop him pump up the value okay this is another movie uh another love story about uh, a divorcee that goes to texas and she meets a young woman and they you know they fall in love this desert hearts starring uh, helen schaefer uh patricia charbonneau and audrey lindley it's a really sweet story actually there you go. And of course, then we have uh, Blade Two, the second Blade movie on VHS. Of course, this is the one where he um, joined forces with vampires to kill an even bigger threat to both of them. I forgot what they call them. The uh, there was a name that they call them. It doesn't matter. But there's a bigger. I think Reapers or something, right? They 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 didn't even kill vampires, so he has to team up with them to to try to stop these Reapers. Okay, really good movie. Okay, now this is the in crowd. Okay, this is like one of those young. Let me show you the back. Uh, thrillers about rich people, rich spoiled people and stuff, and and a newcomer. This is this girl right there. She comes into their crowd and stuff, and there's murder and sex and everything else. It's a it was an okay movie. And the in crowd. Okay, and of course now we have Russell Crowe and Gladiator. Okay, one of my favorite. Um, one of his favorite roles to me, just he just owned this part. Okay, uh, this is Blood and Roses, a vampire tale. This is by Roger Vadim, who I believe was married to Jane Fonda, and I think this is a, this is about a female vampire. You know, I, mean, I love vampire movies, so Blood and Roses is really good, actually. And then one of my favorite romantic comedies. Uh, Why You Were Sleeping, starring Sandra Bullock and Bill Pullman. And basically about Sandra Bullock's character, she's like, you know, 
unlucky in love, I guess you want to say. Ah, not unlucky in love. I guess he's a lonely person, and she basically develops a crush on an, on what's his name, Peter Gallagher, who you don't see here. He's in the back here on there. She develops a crush. She sees he. She works as a token booth clerk in this Chicago, and she sees him every morning. Of course, she hopelessly in love with him, even have to never spoken to him, of course. And then one day he gets mugged, and she basically saves his life. And then the family, and then he's knocked into a coma, and the family basically thinks that she's his fiance, when she's really not. But she goes along with it. You know, she gets swept up with the family, and of course she meets his brother Peter, played by Bill Pullman. And they, of course, you know, more romantic movies. They start to fall in love. And I won't tell you anymore, but it's really really good movies. Sandra Bullock. Okay. Okay. Now this movie is a Animated movie, Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. This is when he, uh, Mr. Freeze kidnaps uh, Barbara Gordon because he wants her heart for his dying wife. One of the better animated movies, I think one of the early ones, Batman Sub-Zero. You have Batman and Robin in this. And of course they're trying to um, you know, rescue Batgirl from Mr. Freeze who is, like I said, planning to put her heart in his wife. Okay, a really good movie. And this one is the Rage Carrie Two. This is saves its I guess you say it's a sequel to Carrie with another troubled girl who discovers he is she's telekinetic and she starts you know when people turn against her she starts slicing and dicing them. <laughs> There's some good some good little scares in this. It's okay. Don't mind that one. Okay, this is Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace. Okay, okay, which. Of course, has my man in it. Uh, what's his name? Darth Maul, who I love in there. Really good movie. Oh, ah, I think it's a really good movie. It's it's okay. Yeah. Okay, and then the Mask of Zorro. This is a uh, one with Anthony Hopkins and uh, Antonio Banderas and uh, what's her name? What's can't think. Uh, what's called wife? Which I can't think of her name now. What's her name? Uh, uh, yeah, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Jeez, excuse me. I drew a blank on her name. Actually, it's a really pretty good movie. Okay. Now, this movie is a one of my favorite animated movies. Okay, this is the, start of the movie uh, that started the TV series, Gargoyles, the movie. I absolutely love Gargoyles. Okay, the voice acting, the animation, everything was absolutely fantastic in this. And the reason I bought this, I think I was in Blockbuster. Uh... And they kept playing the video over and over again, so much to when I was looking for other things. And I just got hooked on it, and then I just bought it. And and this has like games and interactive stuff in there, which I never played. I just watched the video. Uh, you know, they have like a game thing here, which is here. But like I said, I never played the game thing. I was just interested in watching the uh, movie, and the movie was great. Gargoyles, one of the best animated series ever. Okay. Now, this one, excuse the, this from getting beat up, get ripped, I guess, when I was moving. Um, this is the Beatles live, singing, you know, Twist and Shout, She Loves Me, Please, 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 Let Me Do. One of the real good live concerts by the Beatles, okay? Big Beatle fan. Okay, now, this is a classic. Okay, Dustin Hoffman, Catherine Ross, uh, Anne Brancroft. Are you trying to seduce me, Mrs. Robinson? Uh, yeah, one of the great all-time movies. Okay, and this is uh, Valentine. This is a horror movie that came out. I can't remember to when this came out. I think probably in the 90s. Anyway, this stars David Baranis, or Angel, or, you know, his Bones. You know, he stars in Bones now. Uh, Denise Richards, Mary Shelton, Catherine Hagel. Valentine about uh, this high school reunion where uh, this killer, mass killer, is starting to kill, you know, the class, you know, his classmates one by one because they think it's a, 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 a schoolmate that um I think I don't know if he died I'm trying to remember the story exactly that the guy died or or they blamed him from somebody else's death and they teased him and he quit school or either he died or something like that and then of course years later at the reunion you know somebody's exacting revenge okay it was okay thriller okay now this next thing is an in Indian movie that I saw Actually, I went to see this in Lower Manhattan years ago in one of those independent theaters. Fire about these um, two housewives, actually. They're lonely and they 
slowly start to fall in love. It's actually a really good movie. There you go, fire. You know, with the Indian culture, you know, that's a great taboo, but this is a really good movie. Great performances by the actresses. Okay, and this next thing is a movie, uh, uh, Saturday Night Live, The Best of Eddie Murphy, <laughs> which is great. You see him doing Mrs. Ro Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood, which is hilarious. Hilarious Bill Cosby, uh, James Brown, Celebrity Hot Tub. <laughs> okay, this absolutely is great bits on the Gumby, I think Buckwheat Sing, Velvet Jones, just all time great stuff in this. Now, the next thing is Vin Diesel, uh, Pitch Black. Great movie. Okay, and I'm going to pause for a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> 